Well, you're probably not surprised that we're working on the Nissan again. Why it says it shut off, sputtered, locked up the rear brakes, all while he was driving. I had to go rescue him today. So he's throwing a P0 something 35. I got to look on my code reader. But it's the crankshaft position sensor. Yeah. So we ordered one in and I went with a uh, Hitachi because apparently Hitachi makes the OEM and they're pretty finicky. So we're going to try to bust that out tonight. Here's the part that I just ordered in. Hitachi CPS 0017. This is for a 2011 Nissan Frontier with 4.0. So that's what we're going to throw in there, but we got to pull the old one out first. Okay, let's start by taking the tire off. We gotta get a jack and a jack stand. There's a red one right here. This right here. Take the boot off. Oh, the boot's kind of already off. This is gonna be like a 15 minute job. I'm gonna try to take this clip off by pushing that in. Okay, clip came off very easily. Sweet. Now we just need the 10 millimeter and it will undo it. Okay. 10 millimeter. Let's grab a 10 millimeter and a long socket. Okay, so we're just going to go up over here, up above it all, and go right there. Sweet. Easy peasy. I'm going to reach in there and grab it by hand, because I'm going to drop it. So supposedly this crankshaft presents sensor goes out and then cam shaft so this is the crank shaft sensor and then there's two cam shaft sensors and they apparently go out to saw a bunch of people talking about it online well get it might be faster if i just do this do what just take it out like that sweet got it Hold on, I can't sensor. see anything. Okay, I can get a little bit of it. Okay, we take that's the whole thing right there. That's the sensor. Supposedly that's, that's bad. Yep. <clears throat> Alright, here's the old. And here's the new. Big difference, huh? Let's see if there's a part number on this thing. Let's see if we see anything. I'm not seeing a part number on this one, this old one. Yeah. I've seen people replace them with AutoZone parts and then they were complaining they don't last long. But Hopefully this guy lasts a long time. Okay, we'll screw her back down. At least this isn't something that's like super non-accessible. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah. I don't know if I got it started yet. Okay. Probably should have put Loctite on there, but there was none on there, so we'll go with it. Okay, now we gotta get the connector back on. Yep. Even okay, though you really can't see that. On. Now I gotta slide that rubber piece on for the boot. And okay, the boot's back on. Okay, so so that's it. 
Should we scan the codes first before we nope. put everything back on, or should we there put shouldn't everything be any. Okay. But we'll, we'll scan it after. Okay, now we gotta put that back on. Okay. Okay, that should do it. Let's take it for a drive. Okay. Well, Wyatt said we're down the headlight too. We'll check that out. Well, we took it for a ride and seems to be running good. I cleared the code, now we'll see what happens.